France is preparing to take a bold step into the future of naval warfare with the development of its next-generation aircraft carrier, which will replace the iconic Charles de Gaulle. According to a recent report by TF1, the French Ministry of Armed Forces is set to place an official order for the new vessel, the Port Avion's Nouvelle Generation, Pang, in 2025. With this new ship, France is looking to solidify its position as a leading naval power, enhancing its strategic autonomy and strengthening its role within NATO. The Pang, which is slated to be the largest warship ever built in Europe, will represent a massive leap forward in both size and capability. At 305 meters long and nearly 80 meters wide, the new carrier will dwarf its predecessor, the Charles de Gaulle, which has served as France's flagship aircraft carrier since its commissioning in 2001. Designed to carry a mix of cutting-edge aircraft, including future Rafale marine jets, E-2D Hawkeye radar planes, and drones, the Pang will be a formidable tool for power projection on the global stage. Expected to cost at least Euro 10 billion, the Pang will be a nuclear-powered vessel, providing France with unparalleled capabilities in terms of range and endurance. Although nuclear propulsion systems come with a 15-20% to 20 premium compared to conventional propulsion methods, their advantages in terms of extended operational periods without the need for refueling make them an attractive choice for long-term strategic missions. This will significantly enhance France's ability to conduct sustained operations, particularly in the vast expanses of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. One of the key reasons for building a next-generation aircraft carrier is to maintain France's strategic autonomy. The French Ministry of Armed Forces sees the Pang as essential not only for France's military capabilities, but also for its role within NATO and global security efforts. By 2030, the number of aircraft carriers worldwide is expected to increase from 19 to 27, driven by growing investments from countries like China and India. This increase in naval power emphasizes the need for France to maintain a modern and capable fleet, ensuring its influence in international security affairs. The Charles de Gaulle has been a key asset in France's military strategy, serving in a variety of missions, from NATO deployments to multinational exercises like Polaris and Mariperto. With its sole nuclear-powered aircraft carrier nearing the end of its service life, the Pang will become an essential component of France's defense posture, helping to maintain the country's presence and influence on the world stage. The Chantiers de l'Atlantique shipyard in Saint-Nazaire will lead the construction of the Pang, with work expected to begin in 2026 and completion projected for 2038. The shipyard's expertise in building some of the most advanced vessels in the world makes it an ideal partner for this monumental project. The Pang is a complex undertaking, requiring extensive expertise in nuclear propulsion, avionics, and maritime warfare systems. As the design takes shape, engineers and specialists are already laying the groundwork for what will be a pivotal asset in France's future naval strategy. In preparation for the arrival of the Pang, the French Navy is already recruiting personnel. Approximately 2,000 sailors are expected to serve aboard the vessel, and their training will be intensive and specialized. Due to the complexity of nuclear-powered ships, personnel must undergo years of training, up to 15 years for certain roles. This level of preparation ensures that the crew will be capable of operating the Pang at the highest standards, keeping the ship operational for decades to come. The current French aircraft carrier fleet is centered around the Charles de Gaulle, R-91, the only nuclear-powered carrier completed outside of the U.S. It has been a symbol of France's naval power for over two decades, carrying up to 40 aircraft, including Dassault Rafale M fighters and E-2C Hawkeye early warning aircraft. The Charles de Gaulle has been involved in numerous operations, including NATO missions and multinational exercises, showcasing France's naval capabilities and its commitment to international security. As the Charles de Gaulle ages, the Pang will take over its role as France's flagship, continuing the proud legacy of nuclear-powered carriers and ensuring that France remains at the forefront of naval warfare in Europe and beyond. The Pang is more than just a new aircraft carrier for France, it represents a significant investment in national defense, global influence, and technological advancement. With its advanced features, nuclear propulsion, and ability to carry a variety of modern aircraft, the Pang will be a powerful tool in France's military arsenal. As the project progresses towards its 2025 order and 2038 completion, the French Ministry of Armed Forces is laying the groundwork for a new era of naval power, ensuring that France remains a key player on the world stage. The Pang's development is a clear statement of France's commitment to maintaining its position as a leading military power, one capable of influencing global events, ensuring national security, and contributing to international peace and stability.